very good morning to all today we will continue with the incomplete topic that is abortion we have done till the septic abortion and after that it was remaining but before moving to the septic abortion we will quickly revise the topic anybody remember then abortion that is also known as the miscarriage and any bleeding in the pregnancy that is considered as a abnormal the term miscarriage and spontaneous abortion they both are same means if abortion is there miscarriage is there then both will be same next definition is important it is the process of partially or complete the separation of the products of the conception means conception products they are zygote and after that there is a division of the zygotes so that product has been partially or completely they are separating from the uterine wall with or without partial or complete expulsion means sometimes they are completely expelled from the uterine cavity and sometimes they are partially expelled from the uterine cavity before the age of the viability the age of viability is 28 weeks in the in the next we have seen the classification of abortion there are mainly two types spontaneous and induced spontaneous means naturally and induced the couple has forcefully gone for the abortion in this spontaneous two types isolated and recurrent isolated for one time and recurrent the history of two three or more abortions next under the induced two types legal and illegal some cases that is some chromosomal disease to baby some injuries to the mother's health that is considered as a legal and illegal sometimes the detection of sex and abortion due to the girl child that is a illegal abortion under the isolated and recurrent six other types in that was threatened threatened in that the types of abortion where the continuation of pregnancy is possible inevitable the process of abortion has started but it is no but it cannot continue the pregnancy next is complete under the complete the products of conception has been completely out from the uterine cavity incomplete the products of conception they are partially out from the uterine cavity and some parts they are still inside the uterine next is missed So that means the fetus has died, but still inside the uterine cavity. And lastly, septic. There is any abortion that is associated with the infection. Next causes of abortion. Causes of abortion. There is either due to abnormal fetal formation, immunological factors, implantation problems. So under the fetal formation, in that. teratogenic factors teratogenic factors if you remember that during the pregnancy the mothers they are not allowed to take any medication without the doctor's prescription because the drugs can cross with the placenta and umbilical cord and can cause the serious congenital anomalies to a baby that is known as teratogenic effects next is chromosomal aberration that is a chromosomal abnormalities 50 to 80 percent of early abortion they has a structural abnormalities. Second cause that is immunological factors that is ejection by immune response. Third that is implantation abnormalities. Okay, under the implantation means if you remember then the fertilization of the ovum that occurs in the ampulla part of the fallopian and after that it will travel to the uterus and in the fundus it will be implanted so if there is not proper implantation or any implantation abnormalities then it can lead to poor implantation results and they are due to inadequate endometrial formation okay. endometrium if it is not properly formed then the implantation will not be proper and it can lead to the abortion an inappropriate site for the implantation as if you remember the ectopic pregnancy then the implantation of the fertilized ovum that is outside the normal uterine cavity 
so if it is outside of the normal uterine cavity then it cannot be continue the pregnancy next causes they are divided into two that is first and second trimester under the first they are mostly genetical factors that is parental chromosomal abnormalities balanced translocation unbalanced translocation risk of miscarriage with a balanced translocation is greater and this is a most common cause in the first trimester loss in the second that is anatomical abnormalities that is cervical incompetence cervix is incompletely or incompetent that it can get dilated before the labor process next is millerian fusion defects means in that bicornuate uterus septate uterus the, this all abnormalities we have seen in the congenital anomalies of the reproductive organs so we are not repeating it intrauterine synecdoche means the two tissues or structures they can join together next is the uterine fibrils next is maternal medical illness if mothers they are suffering from any serious disease then it can lead to a abortion and lastly unexplained means the cause is not known or not identified for the abortion some common causes that is chromosomal problems if the mothers they are taking drugs and alcohol next exposure to environmental toxins uh, if you remember then pregnant women they are restricted to x ray and radiation because it can also lead to a serious defects if the mothers are suffering from hormonal problems they are having infection in any part of the body if they are obese then physical problems with the other reproductive organs then chances of abortion will be higher spontaneous that is involuntary loss of products of conception before 28 weeks of gestation when the fetus that is approximately 1000 gram or less and occurs that is once in every 15 pregnancy causes of spontaneous abortion that is mostly chromosomal abnormalities genetical and structural causes under the maternal causes that is a uh, structural abnormalities of the genital organs infection such as rubella and chlamydia and medical condition that is diabetes renal disease and thyroid dysfunction types of abortion first is threaten what is threaten try to remember that this is the only type in which the continuation of pregnancy is possible it is a clinical entity where the process of abortion has started here you can see that the process has been started but is it has not progressed to a stage from which the recovery is impossible okay, so the recovery can be possible in the pattern abortion next is signs symptoms if you remember mainly two symptoms abdominal pain and bleeding okay bleeding for vagina it usually slight and bright red and pain there is bleeding is usually painless but there may be mild backache or dull pain in the lower abdomen investigations they are common routine blood tests sonographics for confirmation and urine routine management is to complete bed rest the patient is admitted and given complete bed rest until the bleeding stops the patient advised to preserve the vulval pad so that if any loss is there it can be come to no the patient needs to report any bleeding or pain routinely note for the basic vital signs and vaginal bleeding and in the medication sedatives and pain relief medications are given in evitable that is continuation of pregnancy is impossible it is a clinical type of abortion where the changes have progressed to a state from where continuation of pregnancy is impossible here you can see that it has been separated from this fundus wall so the continuation is almost impossible under the inevitable abortion symptoms will be same increased vaginal bleeding aggravation of pain in the lower abdomen and which may be colicky in the nature and internal examination that will service dilated management studies if the abortion before 12 weeks and after 12 weeks if it is before 12 weeks then dne that is dilatation and evacuation that is followed by 
curettage. And if it is after 12 weeks, then oxytocin drips they are given is uh, given in the normal labor. General measures, then if con excessive bleeding, then methargin is given to prevent PPH and shock is corrected by intravenous fluids and blood transfusion. Complete, the whole products have been completely expelled. When the products of conception, they are expelled, it is called complete abortion or they are expelled as a mass. Under this, the expulsion of a fleshy mass from the vagina, there is a subsidence of abdominal pain. The vaginal bleeding will become trace or absent. If internal examination has been done, then the uterus will be small, cervix has been closed, bleeding is very trace, and the mass which has come out, it will found intact means completely the products has been expelled. The management that is uh, blood loss should be checked and treated. If doubts for any incomplete, then curated should be run and transvaginal sonography is done. Incomplete means the some products they are inside the uterine. When the entire products of conception they are not expelled, instead a part of it is left inside the uterine cavity, then it is called incomplete. Abortion. In the incomplete abortion, the features will be continuation of pain in the lower abdomen, which will be colicky in the nature. There is a continuous vaginal bleeding. And if internal examination is done, then the uterus will be smaller than the period of amenorrhea. Amount of the bleeding will be there, and mass will be found incomplete. Management that is a desuscitation by blood transfusion and IV and if early abortion dilatation and evacuation and if late abortion is there then the products are removed by ovum and blunt curettage if you remember these two ovum and blunt curettage they are metal instruments which helps to catch the products missed abortion means the fetus has been dead and inside the uterine cavity when the fetus is dead and retained inside the uterus for a variable period means until the mother can come to know it is called missed abortion or silent miscarriage and early fetal demise. Clinical features as the baby is dead so persistence of brownish vaginal discharge subsidence of pregnancy symptoms means the mothers they are experiencing nausea, vomiting, heartburn so thus that symptoms that is related to pregnancy will stop. Retrogression of breast changes as there are changes in the breast will be retrograde means reverse changes will stop. Cessation of the uterine growth means the uterus which is day by day become larger. So this growth will be stopped. If we hear the fetal heart sound then it will not be audible because of the death of the fetus. Cervix will become firm and the test that is urine pregnancy test or the immunological test if we do then it will become negative. Management if you uterus is less than 12 weeks then evacuation should be done by dilatation and evacuation followed by suction. And if uterus is more than 12 weeks then induction as in the labor by the oxytocin and by the prostaglandins. From the septic abortion, septic the term that is related to any infection. So septic abortion, it is any abortion that is associated with any abortion which is associated with clinical evidences of infection of the uterus and its content, it is called the septic abortion. Means the abortion that is mostly associated with the infection, it's known as the septic abortion. Next criteria for septic abortion, if you remember any of any case of the infection, the first symptom that is increased body temperature. So rise of temperature of at least 100.4 degree Fahrenheit. Next, 
the offensive or purulent vaginal discharge because there are infection is there so the vaginal discharge they will become offensive and purulent the other evidences of pelvic infection it such as that is lower abdominal pain and tenderness okay, so this thing are the main symptoms that is related to septic abortion next is mode of infection so there are uh, mainly uh, aerobic and anaerobic modes are there. in the aerobic e coli klebsiella staphylococcus and pseudomonas bacteria will be there. and anaerobic tetanus bacillus streptococci and clostridium bacteria if incomplete evacuation is there means if there is a history of abortion but some products they are still inside the uterine cavity and they are not completely removed that is known as incompletely evacuation next is inadvertent injury to the genital organs means during any procedure during examination during dilatation or during curettage or any procedure there are chances of the injury to the genital organs and the other structures so injuries they can lead to a infection next proper antiseptics they are not taken as you know or if you have seen procedures they must follow a strict aseptic technique so if this strict aseptic technique they are not maintained during any procedure then it can lead to a septic abortion clinical features that is pyrexia increased temperature pain in the abdomen pulse rate will be higher 100 or 120 per minute variable systematic and abdominal findings and if internal examination has been done then the offensive and purulent vaginal discharge can be next is the grading of the septic abortion there are mainly three grades according to the spread of infection in the grade 1 the infection it is only localized in the uterus means uterus will only have the infection in the second grade it will spread to perimetrium fallopian tubes and to the ovaries and lastly grade 3 that is generalized peritonitis endotoxic shock jaundice or acute renal failure okay. so remember three grades first grade only to the uterus second perimetrium tubes and ovary and third generalized peritonitis and toxic shock jaundice and renal failure investigation for septic abortion will be a uh, needs to take a swab that is cervical or high vaginal swab for culture test blood test for hemoglobin estimation urine analysis that including culture special investigation includes ultra sonography next is complications that is immediate complications and remote immediate that occurs immediate after the abortion and remote after some time of period in the immediate there are chances of the hemorrhage means blood loss injury to the pelvic organ or other adjacent structures generalized peritonitis means whole peritoneum will be involved endotoxic shock due to continuous bleeds and fluid loss acute renal failure and thrombocytosis the remote complications that occurs after a certain period of time that is chronic pelvic pain with the backache ectopic pregnancy in the next pregnancy that has chances of uh, implantation of the fertilizer outside the normal uterine cavities secondary infertility and lastly emotional depression secondary infertility that we have discussed that difficulty in next pregnancy conception next is prevention how to prevent the septic abortion to boost the family planning acceptance rigid enforcement of legalized abortion means illegal abortion should be avoided in the practice and to curb the prevalence of the unsafe abortion next to take antiseptic and aseptic precaution means all the procedures that must be followed the procedure must follow a strict aseptic 
precautions during any of the operations. Next, management of the septic abortion in that general and specific managements will be done. In the general, firstly, we have to admit or we have to hospitalize the patient with the septic abortion. Next, high vaginal and cervical swab should be taken to confirm or to do the culture examination. Next, vaginal examination has been done to note the type of discharge if it is offensive or purulent discharge or what is the characteristics of the bleeding. Overall assessments of the case in that including whole head to toe examination, abdominal and vitals. Investigation protocols as basic all investigation has been done. Next, the medications. As per the gradings, means grade 1, 2 and 3. Under grade 1, that infection is only uh, related to the uterus. Under that, the drugs they are given, that is antibiotics, analgesics and sedatives. Next, blood transfusion to come, come up with the blood loss and evacuation of the uterus by dilatation and evacuation and curatage procedure. Grade 2, that is to the perimetrium, to the fallopian tubes and to the ovaries. Okay, these three are the main areas of the infection. Under the three drugs, there are four gram positive adults, penicillin, there is 0.5 to 1 milligram IV every 6 hours. And for gram negative, there is centamycin, 1.5 milligram per kg IV every 8 hours. For an adults, metronidazole, 500 milligram IV every 8 hourly and clindamycin that is 600 milligram IV every 6 hours. monitoring of the case needs to be done. Surgery in that the evacuation of the uterus that is should be withheld for at least 48 hours. Means under second grade of uh, infection abortion or septic abortion no needs or Evacuation immediately, it should be stopped until the infection is controlled and is localized. Because if we do, then there are chances that the infection can spread to other body parts and it can go to a third place. The only exception being the excessive bleeding. If the patients they have continuous excessive bleeding, then only the surgery can be done. Posterior calpo. When the infection is localized in the pouch of ductus and the pelvic abscess is formed. You remember the abscess that is collection of the fluids. So in the pouch of ductus, the fluids has been collected and that is evidenced by a spiky rise of the temperature, the rectal, penasmus and boji mass that is from spongy mass that is fault through the lateral fornix and in that cases, a posterior carpotomy and the drainage of the pus means with the drainage procedure, the pus and the fluids has been excess in the pouch will be removed so that it will help to relieve the symptoms and improve the general outlook of the patient. In grade antibiotics and clinical monitoring as outlined in the grade okay. active surgery that is laparotomy okay. laparotomy if you remember under the laparotomy the incision is made over the abdomen and the products of conception that has been removed such as in the cesarean section indication for laparotomy there is injury to the uterus suspected injury to the bowel presence of foreign body in the abdomen and peritonitis. Next, this is a diagram of uh, for abortions that is a missed abortion. Okay. You can see that in the missed abortion what is it? The baby has been dead but inside the uterine cavity for a variable period. The second one inevitable abortion. 
the process of abortion has progressed to a state here you can see from where the continuation of pregnancy is impossible next is incomplete abortion okay incomplete abortion the products of conception they are not completely expelled out means some part has been expelled and some part they are still inside the uterine okay and threaten abortion okay the process has been started but it is not to a state means it is not that much serious then the continuation of pregnancy is impossible so that is about the all classification and types of the abortion if you have any doubt you can ask thank you